I wish I didn't bring none of that. <laughs> Let's get back to the voicemail. 424 260 R.A.P. 424 260 R.A.P. This nigga take it too far every time. <laughs> that nigga went so far enough for this guy. And I was calling to ask who. Okay, outside of everybody who did the, the Super Bowl, who would be the best? Who could pull off a. Who could pull off a, a Super Bowl halftime performance? We already got Kendrick coming up. Uh, you know Drake would. You mean my, that crazy, that crazy motherfucker Kanye? And if he was to do one, you know he would probably raise the uh, the terrorist color to. You know, they probably find a new color when he get up there and start talking at the <laughs> And would y'all say Travis Scott just because of? What he does with his live performances. But, nah, death follow Travis Scott. But it might yeah. be a threat of death. Because, <laughs> ah, you know, see? His concerts. And also, it's crazy to think that um, Abraham Lincoln was a bundle of sticks. Huh? Oh, wow. You know, <laughs> breaking, breaking news, but yeah, I was just looking up something. <laughs> And it said, <laughs> this nigga, it, said, uh, it said Abraham Lincoln was in them rooms <laughs> and almost and almost uh Wait. almost went out like Hernandez or oh, 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 oh. did he go out over like? some oh, no, over yeah. some over some male. So yeah. He <laughs> was a racist and a bundle of stick. All right, man. Stop, <laughs> stop saying that. <laughs> what, a, what a segue. That segue was horrible. Crazy. I did not see that coming. Like, that nigga said, anyway. Yeah. Like, I, just, I just slowly <laughs> lean into that. Like, bro, we wasn't even. That was, what? I got a two old performances to, to Mars. How like, what the fuck you talking about? I don't, I don't even know. Like, you I guess said, he just, before he forgot about it, type shit, I guess. You said, anyway, I'm going to say that problematic shit again. <laughs> just because y'all didn't hear me. What? What was he reading at? That's the question. TikTok? I don't know where you found out Abraham uh, Lincoln was a bundle he didn't, of sticks. He didn't whatever. ask a question, so I'm going to just go back to the Super Bowl. He's That's saying. such a hilarious way of saying that big <laughs> loot. <laughs> that nigga hit the M&M at the end. He said he was checking the mail. Get it? Checking the mail? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right, so... <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, Mount don't share none of this to your page. <laughs> don't, even, don't even tell nobody. Who, oh, don't tell nobody who's in this podcast this week. We here at uh, Random Acts of Podcast not responsible for the views of our <laughs> Hey, look, I give everybody a fair warning. Nigga, we are ignorant <laughs> as fuck on this podcast. Thank you. Thank you. I have to say your warning. own discretion. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. But. Hey, we well, Mark, that, I'm hey, glad you did, the OG, have you did the OG session, so you got to get your brand out there good. Don't share yeah, this yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We have nothing to do with what the hell that just happened. Well, what just happened right yeah, there? We, I didn't know. Yeah, you don't read yeah. these before you put them up? You just be... No, I, I probably no. should. You probably should start, never, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. I've we... been on here enough episodes to know that he does not. I don't read I don't know why I never thought to ask that, but I'm like, shit. But then I thought about like, nah, he probably doesn't. You don't notice before I click on the bitch to still be bold? Yeah, bro. Yeah. Like. I don't check them ever. <laughs> All right, so who he said who would be who could so do got, a who yeah, could who, do a Super Bowl yeah, halftime? Half According to Maul, Drake turned it down. I think that's a crock of bullshit. Yeah. Um, Nigga said know. Drake turned it down Drake. four times. Okay, four times. Nobody is crazy. asking him four times. Crazy as fuck. Drake, Drake. please, please. Like I know, not I know, please. I know you're not from New Orleans, but your boss is from New Orleans. Can you come do the New Orleans? But like, Drake, you're no. from everywhere. Drake is from everywhere. That nigga's a mutt. I know. I know what you're talking about. Um, Kanye, it'd be funny if like in the middle of his set. He just started preaching. Like, he about to do Jesus walks. And he just cut the music and just started preaching to everybody, bro. Like, oh. he, I see him doing some shit like that. Oh, oh. I, I saw him do that Tampa show. Really? Uh, what was that? Life of Pablo tour? Yeah. Uh, when yeah. after that, he canceled everything after that show. Yeah, see, um, I can see him doing some crazy night. shit like that. It wouldn't even be music. It'd be his antics. So, uh, I don't want to. I don't want yeah, Kanye. I never do Kanye. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, Kanye Travis, West could do it. Kanye yeah, West. Kanye West. Not Kanye yeah, New. Not, yeah, yeah, yeah. not Yeezus. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, Kanye West. I'm not even taking Jesus. You might take Jesus? Yay. 
No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I ain't gonna I'm, hold you. I, I was on board with all the Kanye bullshit when he was Yeezus. Like, I was like, hey man, Kanye on to something. This nigga, oh, he was like, I am a god. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this nigga yeah, is he was brewing. trying, then it just. This nigga is brewing. Then that nigga started hanging with Trump <laughs> and shit. That shit turned on up. I was like, cool. damn, that nigga put the wrong season in this shit. Oh, as soon as he said slavery is a choice, I'm like, hold yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> slavery yeah, yeah. is a choice. Hold yeah. up, hold up. Being broke is a choice. I was like, like yeah, I put really. pause on the music. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> I put pause on that Kanye record. <laughs> stronger, you know what I'm saying? I say, wait a second. <laughs> yeah, really. He he stopped for me after uh, graduation. I mean, yeah, after graduation. So I'm good on Kanye. Anything after 808s or heartbreaks and, the, and beyond? I, I, I like 808s. 808s was straight. 808s was actually really good. I gotta go really back and listen to it as a goddamn change, adult. That's what I gotta do. The genre. I mean, 808s was a really good album. Like yeah, I think few bangers, the, but I. I think that once you <clears throat> once you get past, cause you got to think like eight oh eight, that nigga was going through a lot. Well, at once. Well, he didn't you have to make eight oh came out in oh six. Nah, oh seven. Yeah, no, oh eight. Oh eight. Oh eight. Oh seven. So that's that's when it turned. and Niggas started wearing no fro. The fro changed. I mean. You can damn near. I remember talking to you about that album. Like, I remember talking to this nigga in the crib about that album. I was like, yo, yeah. 808s is a lot different than anything we've heard from Kanye. I don't know how to accept from anybody. From anybody. He from anybody right. at that time. I mean, you can different. make the argument that if it wasn't for that, you would not have Drake today. Right, right, right. Um, right. I mean, to me, I mean, comeback season, Drake is yeah. different, but you would not have Drake or this, this two different worlds of hip hop that you have. I think that. that could. Kid yeah, Cudi, Travis I think, Scott. I mean, even 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 Lil Uzi. I would man, say to look, a degree. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna go as far as to say I think Thug. Yeah, I can see that. And I here's see, why I, I say can see that. Eight oh eight and heartbreaks was like nigga. the introduction. Yeah, future. Eight oh eight and heartbreaks was the that. introduction of us seeing a nigga really use his voice as an instrument mm -hmm. consistently. You know what I'm saying? Like Roger Zapp had did shit like that. It was we the seen, closest we've seen to going back to the essence of jazz type shit. One hundred percent, one hundred percent. Like you hearing this nigga just doing runs. You know what mm, I'm saying? Yeah. At the end of records and shit, mm. it's like, hold up, what yeah. are you? And sometimes he he was actually running. And yeah. then those records quite he, was, he started going crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> quite literally, <laughs> get out the studio. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I wonder who else. Uh, I mean, the elephant in the room. I, I do. <laughs> Wayne has a catalog to do it. He Wayne has more has a than one catalog. I, I was gonna say Wayne, but he has more than one. catalog I don't think Wayne has the marketability to do it. Yeah, he hasn't That's, been on a stage this big before. But then again, a lot of people who who's done that <laughs> shows haven't hadn't been on the stage that big before. It's Hold no up. big. It's no stage bigger than the Super Bowl. That's the True. biggest. And, and, the, and biggest it's the biggest stage. stage. And then not just that. I mean, who would you say like? I remember when MIA performed at the Super Bowl, right? We MIA. What the was, hell Super Bowl was that? Oh, when she, she did paper planes. She, 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 she came she, out. For was that Katy like, Was it Katy Perry? Uh, I don't think it was Katy Perry. It might have been Katy Perry. Because she did, did. No, it had to been before that because she did paper planes. I think. Katy Perry did one too? No, 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 no. Yeah. Katy Perry definitely Katie did Katy Perry oh, did one. But you gotta think, those are people that did world world tours, world right? Tours MIA sure. came out to perform because she was at like her peak. Like that, yeah. that record yeah. was in movies. That, was that record was everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Was, 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 huh? was it YouTube? It might have been. I'm, that's around YouTube that did, time. Dude, cause they, cause they I don't know if they were YouTube players came out. That's some pineapple. Okay. They Express did like so, yeah, three yeah, artists that, that came out with her. Like every yeah. one, of, it was all three female artists or some shit like that. Yeah. But every one of them did a song or something. I remember they and, got uh, mad because he like shot the bird. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they might have been Katy Perry. She had practiced it. Right, and they told her beforehand, just like everybody, don't do no none of that shit that could cause us, you know, damage and shit. And she went out there and did that shit. FCC tore their ass up. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's just, it's yeah. just so wild that most of the people that have performed at the Super Bowl, at least they have at least one song with Wayne. I saw in the most recent years. So like, I could see Wayne probably being there. Is like he might be a surprise Madonna. guest type shit out there because Madonna, okay, that Madonna. It's, it's no way Wayne ain't gonna have a Super Bowl in the city he not uh, which I forgot Madonna did Madonna did do one yeah I she forgot did. it was during Madonna she got a song with Wayne too don't she probably 
Somewhere out there. Probably. But well, I'm saying, like, one of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She might be yeah, happy. I mean, money, 60 yeah. old Madonna. Yeah. You know, she's Come not on, that bro. bad. Come <laughs> no, <sorry. laughs> have, have you seen Madonna? Bro, the 60 year old Madonna ain't that bad looking. Bro. I mean, she was kissing Drake in the mouth. Oh. I don't know. Lil Chucky might have had a chance. He, oh, was wrong, he probably girl. did have a chance. He just don't know about it. You know how celebrities were. But I can see Wayne coming as like a Madonna. guest star of what? Because him, him and Kendrick got songs together, but is he. Rocking mm. with Kendrick right now. I don't think that Kendrick. I don't. I don't, that, I, don't, I, don't I don't. I don't think that we gonna <laughs> see Wayne. You know what I'm saying? I think that I've seen crazy shit at the Super Bowl. I think that this was a bold move, honestly speaking. Um, with with Master P being over it, I am very surprised that he didn't push for more of a New Orleans like because that nigga really could have made the Super Bowl. Hold on, hold on. Master P ain't over shit. I mean Jay Z. Jay Z. But well, it, but I heard it wasn't Jay Z decision either. It was the uh, Super Bowl producer. It's, uh, it's, the, it's a it, whole lot of they shit. come they come up with a short list of maybe like four, three or four people, yeah. and the city decides who they want to. That's promote. crazy. That's yeah, a whole city whole committee. City okay, that's to do make, it. that makes so sense. the but, city of New Orleans picked. Kendrick. Yeah, the, that's whole, the, the wild host. Fuck. I mean, he the hottest was, nigga on earth right now. You take the host committee that be betting for the suppose <laughs> It's right. that group of people that actually do it. Yeah. State, yeah. Now, <laughs> the thing with that shit though is that the host <laughs> committees they may not look like the city, right? Exactly. Right, right, right. Of course, exactly. so oh, that's the thing. But that we you think gotta about think. Too. Kendrick is the hottest nigga on earth right yeah, now. Came, Wayne ain't even by like not to by technicality. By technicality. That, that's not All even right. the point, bro. You got I, hold I, on. I, I'm gonna be real. That nigga Kendrick could spit literally what? on on what? an album, and and if he and I mean Hawk too, and if he Whoa. did, All right, don't ever do that. Paul, 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 nigga, <laughs> that's that's insane. Paul, man, sketchy. That's insane. Man. Sketchy joke. And I'm clipping that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I made that in the main clip. <laughs> Before you get your shit off, Jeff, I know you long winded. No, no, no. I'm gonna, I'm I'm gonna get this hot. I'm gonna get this hot take off, and we're gonna we're gonna get all the way into the topic, bro. Let's be honest. That Drake and Kendrick Lamar beef, that shit killed hip hop. That shit sped up the death of hip hop. It did no good. I saw this you right real the conversation. It did, I saw it, did, it, in the it did no good for hip hop at all. <laughs> it did. And we seen and we seen the the results of it. Cause right now this nigga Kendrick Lamar, Kendrick Lamar is literally the only rapper doing shit right now. He the only rapper charting right now. That is not good. You seen that? It just like you see all these rappers just dropping out. Them shit's doing twenty k, ten k. That yeah. is not good. Future about to drop a mixtape. <clears throat> It was a mixtape. Uh, shout oh. out to my dog Steve. <laughs> Steve engineered that shit. Oh, that's a future mixtape. I mean, yeah. oh, same thing as the song. Kendrick only been dropping songs. He had to drop an album in how long now? It, well, it's probably gonna be one after that performance. Oh, it will have to be at this well, point. Like you got to drop an album. When the last time Kendrick dropped an album that um twenty twenty two. Yeah, twenty twenty two. He's been dropping songs, bro. Just yeah, he, he, dro- dropped song. and he dropped a song. That's the only thing. <clears throat> Did you see this nigga Travis Scott? He had to do some. He just dropped the uh, what's it? Days before rodeo, mm. it came oh, out. Oh yeah, he re-released it. Ten year yeah. anniversary. <laughs> I didn't even know that. Yeah, I saw some. He did a bunch of like really. finesse shit. It went. The thing went number two. He sold like three hundred. They said it's about to have the biggest dip in Billboard history. It's like a ninety five percent dip. That's it's about to sell like It went from selling like three hundred k. That bit about to sell like ten thousand copies. Oh my god! Wow. I'm gonna buy the rights to that. Like, wow. Get it, so Lord. I'm buy the rights to that shit, bro. Wow, <laughs> bro. Hip hop is on life support right now, and I think that beef sped it up. Cause now you seeing all right, so we seeing all these niggas. Not everybody picking sides, yeah. and that's mm. not good. Hip hop need unity. Well, yeah. here's here's what I'm gonna say. One, labels are not supporting real music anymore. We we we're literally just going after good beats. You know what I'm saying? Not hmm. even that. They're going about good personalities more so. That's that's real. Well, at but least, there's at no least, other genre that's doing it. At least we passed the dance era. Hold on, hold on. No, no, no. Because I'd much rather <laughs> the dance need- era. I was gonna say yeah. I'd much rather the yeah. dance era. I hate it. Uh, there's nobody <clears throat> that's that's no other genre that's doing that though. Pop ain't doing that. Country ain't doing that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Country trying to keep them niggas from getting in. You get what I'm Shibuzi saying? Shibuzi knocked that dude down like a bitch. Right. Now, I know people have their opinion about Shibuzi, but I, I fucks with bro. I, know I fuck with Shibuzi. Man, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I know that we, 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 we got our opinions and shit, but we can't act like Lil Nas ain't kicked that door down. 
Lil Nas he X. He kicked the fuck out of that door down there. Yeah. <laughs> Lil Nas X. Then he, he tore that door it, down. Then he opened it. I don't, and he know, got that, in the I don't know that he closed it. <laughs> I think that this. I think Lil Nas X really sparked a lot for a lot of people in the sense that we became more accepting to like people we expect to rap or people we expect to sing or whatever. Do whatever. Doing anything. Mm. Unfortunately. You can even say <laughs> my Instagram as of late has been littered with white female rappers, and mm. you know this ain't no offense, you know what I mean. But I just personally don't care to hear that, right? Yeah. But as I'm looking at them, I'm like, okay, she's about to sing, and then I'm hearing them <laughs> rap, and it's like, all right, let me at least hear this out because it might mm. be good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. This is one just, of the white chick I fuck with. It's um, true. She be sliding. I and I don't. I, I, you again, just want to fuck. Shut I don't up. say, I don't say but, it with no offense, but but I did see a point about that, and I I I do think I do got some agreements with because of you brought up uh, it wasn't you somebody else on on your Twitter brought up the point of um you have Kendrick who's pretty much the last of a dying breed, which yeah. is the closest to pure hip hop that you can get, well, I guess on a mainstream level. It's still right. lots that's, of that, but it. it's so that's deep it. in the underground, yeah. right? And then you have Drake representing, uh, like we say, this eight away, this new evolution damn near a whole new genre of music in the way that he's kind of created with a whole nother group of artists and yeah you're trying to pick between the two me personally i'm not a drake guy personally yeah. but i i mean i i, I give him respect for what he was you doing now all that other shit huh you don't want to sing and dance no, not he don't do it for me, bro. He don't, hey, hey, he don't like you don't like faking the Jamaican accent on the song. Nah, he said, he said, I can't whoop the, uh, nah, I can't whoop the Drake. Nah, <laughs> you can't whoop the Drake. No, nah, I cannot. Nah, I mean, you I can't, can't whoop the Drake. Damn. Bro. Honestly, Nevermind has some damn. whoop songs on it. That was the dance album he made. Yeah, that was. Right. The oh dance yeah, the, yeah. I remember hearing about that. But yeah. no, nah, nah, they don't give you that whoop. <laughs> he just don't give me anything that like gets my emotion in any I can respect capacity. That. Yeah. Drake is good when I feel like like that's the shit you know like when you put put a show on the to go to sleep to yeah, on yeah, the TV. Yeah, yeah. That's that. Drake music yeah. for me. Like yeah, I put Drake, Drake on when I'm Drake got some like, amazing think about solo like Drake and rap and shit. Like yeah. I'm not taking Drake the credit away mates, from him. It ain't like none of that. It's just yeah. he just it's like the J. Cole shit. Like J. Cole can rap but sometimes he just ain't for everybody. Right. Like, and I'm gonna be honest man like as of late I think the beef that spark caused for me to look at J. Cole a little different. You know what I'm saying? From what perspective? He took a L. He took a huge oh, L. Oh, he took a huge L. But I think it, pussy. I think it really made you look at his personality. And now that you listen to other songs, it's like listening to Lil Tecca. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> wow. God damn. Oh, so and I'm not trying wild. to like I'm not trying to be that nigga, but it's like, yo, for years, nigga, I remember since like I was 18. Hearing J. Cole saying, like, yo, I'm 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 the dopest nigga, right? Yeah. This was your chance. Let me You've never had no beef. But yeah. real quick, I did want to say yeah. this. Uh, uh just about why hip hop is dying. The labels are all trying to exploit every artist. We only choose a handful of artists and we exploit like we exploit them on the radio. Yeah. So the radio really cycles through what, 15 songs? It's mm. that now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Once and then time you every get that two same hours, song you gonna yeah. get it. Yeah, same song about every two hours, like you said. Exactly, yeah. thirty minutes sometimes. Shit, so, I mean, not like us, probably getting like every twenty. Bro, God right? Damn, that's, you can't go nowhere no and not hear like that. Shit. And that's a good that's point. Crazy. So, uh, <clears throat> hip hop today <clears throat> is not gonna be what we know as hip hop. Hip hop, like moving forward, when you say hip hop is dead, I think hip hop is actually. In the grand scheme of things, I know I, no one wanted this. Let me not say dead. It's like in purgatory. Nah, I'm gonna say this. I wouldn't say purgatory. I'm gonna say this, I and say this this, this is the, probably the, the hottest take. I think hip hop is at its climax right now. It's at its biggest point. It's unfortunate mm. that we lost every bit of control. So. Here's why I say you have every person in every genre tapping into rap every day. I seen some. I saw some right. Japanese niggas right. with some uh, drill music. The All of that. That's <laughs> cultural appropriation. That ain't the. But that's what why I, them just like taking what, from the game. But they that's rap, where but again they I go rap, back to saying rap, that though. hip hop as we know it is gonna change. <clears throat> hip hop as we know it is all black. That's supposed what you're be. talking about, realistically. It's supposed to be. What else was hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get. Let me, let me say this real quick. All right, so back on the J Cole, the J Cole shit is another reason why hip hop is dead. For hip hop to be at its at its highest. 
we got to have multiple rappers at the top. One of the rap. So before Kendrick, because let's be honest, dog. What it, what is sad about this shit is, every, and I, this is coming from a Kendrick fan. Nobody yeah, a big Kendrick too, fan to me. The, the bad Kendrick. part about this is everybody like on Kendrick's side. And this nigga don't drop music like that. That's so what I'm saying. Like the Lauryn Hill of rap. So, so the hot, so the two <laughs> it's nigga, very hard to just def- defend this nigga at times. Yeah, nigga drop, like, nigga drop shit when he feel like it. Like yeah, think about like it before that future song that started all this. What did he drop he before that? But it's like like the two, number one thing years. people like I too. Like, you Kendrick. know, th- this is where this is where I gotta interject, and I think that is very unfair for us, honestly speaking, mm-hmm. to put that much pressure on artists because if we're talking about the essence of hip hop and keeping it alive, it died because we got microwavable music. Niggas mm-hmm. can't come out with an album a year and produce quality songs for ten years. Yeah. Oh, All very right. So let me say this. So uh, before Kendrick. Kendrick came out with the this shit and he pretty much spanked this nigga Drake. At the top, it was they, they shit. They dropped the song together. What is it? First person shooter. Yeah, Drake. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Drake and Cole was at the top. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I feel like hip hop wasn't in uh, the best shape, but it was like in a good place because we had two niggas at the top killing the shit. I think it was this coming nigga, back because underground on, was picking uh, up. No, them niggas was just killing trash. Them niggas. Even, I know niggas don't like all the Drake. No, shit. no, no. I'm just saying it because. J. Cole had did a song with Benny the Butcher. It brought Benny the Butcher up, right? Yeah, so yeah, now, it to the next it, level, yeah. like, we were seeing underground and mainstream starting to Connect, merge. Yeah, okay, like, let me let me. Yeah, get, and let that's me. that's the only reason I wanted to interject, so you can continue. All right, so I'm glad you said that. We had this nigga J. Cole killing tracks. What he did, he did the Be a song. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He went, went crazy, nigga. He won. I know. I, I know. We don't really care about white people paperwork, but ba- he won back to back. A rapper of the year on Complex, and he was like legit the rap. And this is coming from me. I don't really like J Cole like that. That nigga was the rap. He was like one of the. He was killing everything, and he had no. Album. Yeah, Everybody, nigga, he, was the he had yeah, he was he the was, hottest yeah. rapper, bro. He like was. he was <clears throat> spanking niggas on their own track. Put balls. me to sleep. So it's just nigga, <laughs> <laughs> green, bro. bro. Yeah. No, I'm not. So. You lucky that Stupid shit turned what? down. Press it again, oh dumbass boy. Press it again, So that don't happen boy. again, bro. Let me Go turn ahead. that shit up. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted that shit to echo in my ear. Oh, it didn't know. It didn't oh, know. Oh, it God. Was, it, it, it didn't check. know. All right, so this nigga, this nigga, this nigga Cole made me listen to a Bia song. True. Now, and niggas, I was low-key anticipating this nigga album. That's crazy. He got in his, he got in his beef. Bro, nobody cared. J. Cole did a song with ASAP Rocky last week. Ass. Nobody, nobody oh, yeah. the song wasn't that bad. It was okay. Nobody gave a fuck. Man, that song ass, bro. I want to say it. Cole verse is hard. The beat was hard. It was an Alchemist beat. Well, Alchemist is one of my favorite producers. So I never really been I a like, fan of Alchemist. I like the beat. Well, Devin, you listen to Monkey Tune, so. Whoa! I'm not, I'm, I'm, <laughs> is, that, is that super anti black? No, wow. God damn. damn. Yes, racist. God right. damn. <laughs> that was actually shit. offensive. And you laughed about it. That make it worse. You laughed. Damn. Jungle Bunny music? Is that what you call it? Right, right, but right. Right. Oh, but that's did that's Cole that's really that's see like that for him to, to make the diss track, which it was good. I mean, it's cool. It's about a seven of them? The whatever one that the one that he yeah, took down, whatever yeah, that yeah. shit called. Yeah, he took it down and that was pussy. Yeah. Yeah, and I was saying, like, what just in my head, like what did he see that made him really want to take the down? It's not what he sees, it's what Kendrick had on that I nigga, think, bro. I don't That's even what think it was. I, I don't you think even he had know something on cold though? Oh, 100 percent 100 percent One hundred percent. Definitely. He banned that quickest way. He apologized for the Yeah, he got something. He got what? He said schoolboy Q went up to him and told him. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, right, you're right. He said, yeah, get up out this beef. Yeah. Yeah, this shit's really good. I I do remember that, though. I 100% won. I think the Cole and Kendrick album never came out because Kendrick saw something in Cole. saw something, Mm yeah. Hey, man, I'll be saying this. I'll be saying it on the Patreon when me and Banks will be recording. I think this nigga Cole, he got some, like, family shit going on. Mm. Cause I don't know if you I listen. That. I, if you listen to a lot of his verses, bro, that nigga All rapping. He rapping like a single man. All of it. He on. Oh, he what's what song was that? And he not said, just that. When he raps about his wife, he talks about heartache. He was on that future mm-hmm. album. The uh, I still don't trust. We still don't trust. I know it's like, so like, Cole was on that bit. Thompson. He need three bitches. All that. Yeah. He said he need, He said he in the. Uh, he said he pretty much rapping like he was single. So I was like that nigga got something going on in his personal life. 
And Kendrick knew about, about that it, shit, yeah. and he was gonna tap in on that shit. That's what it was. Yeah. It's like it's a reason why you moved to New York and you be riding the bikes, nigga. Hey, you up there by yourself. Hey, stop <laughs> cheating on your wife. <laughs> Get the, the other whole only fans they pipe. Like well, what? I, I, I mean, I don't even think it's just that. I think Cole has probably done a lot of shit in the industry that that Kendrick could probably they, talk about. You know what I'm saying? And then Cole some dick, bro. Nah, that's that's what what that's 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 like possible. That's that's possible. That's possible. He probably got an alcoholic. He probably got diddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we act like. So we like, so we like, so we like, that's not a thing now. Now we're acting like, no, I ain't saying, I ain't putting that on that man. What I'm saying is this: I do think Cole was like, I'm just saying it's the truth. I do think Cole was oblivious to Jay Z, basically like little boy in that nigga throughout his career. You know what I'm saying? And Kendrick probably is finna like talk about the one was finna talk about that. Just I ain't never been in your position. You know what I mean? Crying on records about trying to be the best type shit. You know what I mean? And I'm not trying to like, again, I'm a huge Cole fan. I'm a huge Kendrick fan. I think Kendrick legit was finna murder that nigga. Yeah, it had to be something where the nigga that brags about him being the hottest rapper and he said he could destroy any nigga on the track. For them to like wag, take his like, what is it? Take their ball. Right? Yeah, yeah. Take, take your tail. Be, yeah, yeah, it had to be something serious. And I think <clears throat> this. I think on a deep level, Cole know he can't rap with Kendrick consistently. Yeah. That's yeah, why. That. That's why we've never seen a, a a real record with him. So, question: What all this got to do with who y'all picking to perform at the Super Bowl? I mean, that's... I don't know. You're kind of segue, because we got... It's segue, because... They're going to turn the question out the thing. Because we got into the... Well, I, bro, I, I got the way Kendrick, and shit. Kendrick is performing, so yeah, that's it how I said it. So that's what you I want, though? I, I was actually about to bring it home. So, so Joe said Lil Wayne. No, 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 no. I said, Mount, Mount, I, I said Lil Wayne. Who said Lil Wayne? I said Wayne. My, I got well, C.T. I don't think Wayne well, has I don't think Wayne has the marketability to do... And I'm not. I'm not trying to like again. He was Wayne fan. Okay, okay, okay. I, I don't agree with that. But hold up, Devin. You said Wayne. What yeah. has Wayne done hold over on, the last on, five on, years? On, five years, nigga. He's been putting out because you haven't listened to no about, many people not listening. I'm talking to about on a major scale, nigga. It's, it's plenty of people more popping. I'm about to set you up, Joe. So Devin said Wayne. That's another reason why I said hip hop is dead and niggas is picking sides. That's what killed hip hop. We got niggas disrespecting Wayne, and he's a fucking legend. Yeah. We got him saying, we got niggas saying Wayne can't do a Super Bowl. They saying Wayne ain't got enough songs to do a Super Bowl. That's insane. That's a form of killing hip hop where we shit on our legends. And yeah. that's insane. Yeah. And, and yeah. also, and it's all also that do to nigga, if you remember the one in LA, it. if you remember the one in LA, Snoop wasn't popping. Dre wasn't popping. Goddamn, Mary J was on power, but what? they all was at the Super Bowl. Yeah, no, you nigga, you Snoop, don't have to be popping. Snoop, Snoop, Snoop is always popping. No, no, he, no, I'm Snoop is what he always said. Popping. He said he Dre is popping Dre musically is, though. Dre is one of the like. Dre is a mogul, nigga. There's no one realistically that is musically compared to Dre. Let's not say okay. I'm not gonna say not musically. Say that's that's. Like, I mean, I, yeah. I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say it's I'm gonna like just say it like this. I'm gonna just say it like no. I'm oh. saying it from a perspective of what Dre has done for niggas. What Dre has done for the game itself. You know what I'm saying? I mean, when Wayne, when I Wayne, we wouldn't have Nicki Minaj. There's, there's, there's a difference between being popping and being. I think y'all niggas need me to say they a legend. There's always gonna be relevant. For, so they had, I mean. they had Rihanna perform the Super Bowl. Rihanna haven't dropped an album. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah, niggas, niggas that be doing, team. but it don't matter. Her name is trending on on Twitter. Her name is trending everywhere, you, see, almost every month. You're proving my point. To be at the Super Bowl, you got to be a legacy act. And why, that's what why, I'm saying. So yes. why are we disrespecting Wayne? Because he's it's he's, his a, city. he's a legacy act. He's we haven't legacy. we ha- we haven't appreciated him in that regard though. We as the community, that's why I'm saying Wayne doesn't have that marketability. And that's, and that's an issue. And bro, that's why I agree shit, that bro. the way I'm not saying hip hop is dead. I'm saying hip hop is changing. Hip hop today does worst. not appreciate <laughs> legacy. <laughs> hip hop today, hip hop today has not appreciated legacy for what the last five to ten years. These niggas that come in today do not talk about any legend it prior to. Never has. They never but niggas have. definitely, but they, niggas definitely got Wayne. Cause Cause Wayne also no, started a lot of niggas in the industry. We had this nigga game talk song thirty eight still rapping. Ugh. Yeah, niggas never yeah. respected legends ever. Yeah. They never respected yeah. rap being a, a timeless genre. It's always been a young man game. <laughs> but now when you bring up, cause you brought up the Dre and Snoop thing, and for me that was a bigger moment I think for hip hop. But now that you bring that up, they was in they to me. That was 
they climbed that hip hop finally made it. One hundred percent. When they did that, Dre shit got beats by Dre. because that so wasn't about that wasn't business just, mogul, yeah. music mogul. That nigga. particular performance wasn't about it. It just happened that the niggas was from L.A. and it was in L.A. That was more so like a, this is that change. Yeah, because when they when they announced the Super Bowl performance, they said Dr. Dre and Snoop Dogg. Yeah, they it was just, Dr., it was Dr., it was just yeah. Dr. Dre and Snoop yeah. Dogg. Dr. Dre was like, <laughs> all right, we if you're going to appreciate me, you got to appreciate me whole. You got to appreciate people, artists I brought on. And he had 50 Cent perform. Exactly. Yeah, Eminem. Kendrick, and I ain't for no, no music for 50 Cent and how And that's where again, Hold on, hold on That's where again I go back to say We really do gotta When we talk about this shit We really do gotta appreciate The services that niggas have provided Dr. Dre is one of them niggas That has always put on For every nigga that he's helped Yeah Made sure every one of them Down to Kendrick Lamar Who he has no real direct ties to has always made sure them niggas ate, them niggas was good, them niggas elevated in a similar regard. They might not be as big as Dre, but everyone that has ever encountered that relationship with him has Ice Cube, 50 Cent, uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, Eminem, who else? Shit, the I game. mean, the game, yeah. Kendrick Lamar, like every nigga that has encountered him has realistically become their own mogul in a sense. You know what I'm saying? Except so, the game. He, well, he, he sabotaged himself yeah, several times. Yeah. yeah, that was all. He sabotaged, him. sabotaged <clears throat> himself countless times over. Even like you saying, him disrespecting the legends. Game does shit that niggas don't appreciate <laughs> because not every nigga is in game culture. So that's cool to the West Coast. That's cool in certain regards. But not every nigga is listening to that and saying, I'm going to pick you, this new nigga that raps with this particular style. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah. Over a nigga that's more versatile. So hip hop is definitely changing. And I'm saying it only to say today we are more accepting for a nigga like BL, uh, a cracker like BLP Kosher to come into the game and and become a really big name 16 year old artists have more popularity than some of the major artists you get what i'm saying so today like you said it's always been a young man's game but today and watch, and watch when them niggas drop an album that shit gonna do 15k yeah all of it's gonna do poo yeah. I just all of that, it's gonna do poo i just seen that nigga little tyler just drop down that bit did like 10k yeah they they good. but they're and not they, marketing they, him yeah they're, they're not they. marketing him in the right way the only way they market little tyler is on social media yeah. they're trying to build a core following for him but the thing about it is his mark his his time for like exposure is right now because people would be able to watch him grow and develop. This isn't a little bow wow. You know what I'm saying? This is a grown ass man we're talking about that has the talent, that has the marketability, that has the whole package realistically. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna watch him grow in his career. They're trying to keep him in that. Essentially, I hate to say it like this, that nigga is in today's chitlin circuit. To Don't where hate to say that you'll be accurate. You'll be to accurate. where today he's he's performing <clears throat> alongside like other acts that have less songs than him that are that are charting or not charting but doing real numbers. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He's performing with artists that he's going to surpass in a matter of two years. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. he'll be doing the next Super Bowl when they go to Miami. Nah, I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> so, yeah, I agree. I agree. So what you was bringing up, Joe, pretty much that's just like basically artist development. Yeah, I'm just that's saying, all it is. I, I, I shouldn't. We brought, lost that. I shouldn't have brought up Little Tyler. I think that, that what he's doing. I think he's in a good place right I now. I think he's in an amazing place, but now, I do got, think that now we got artists, established motherfuckers like Megan Thee Stallion, who dropped, who doing she did twenty like, k. Yeah, she did like twenty something. Yeah, K. and even and even showing her marketing. The only the too. only time you hear about Megan K. I mean, uh, Megan Thee Stallion is when she's attached to something messy. Or she's I, twerking. I don't agree with that. Or she's talking about anime. For the last, just, what, two, had, three years she, we've been talking about the shooting? She's been talking she about anime. A, she just had a sold out tour. That's not true. Anime. And she got... She got a big... She in the anime community now. That's a big following. Yeah, that's a whole... I don't know language. if you believe that or not, yeah, but that's a whole... I don't agree with that. I'm following. not saying... It, I'm I'm just I'm just telling you my perspective of things. It like, shit, I'm just saying it shit only be one hot rapper. That's No, no, no. It definitely shouldn't. And I don't, don't want to blame this on Kendrick because... No, that's the culture of hip-hop. That's what we've created it to be since the birth of the shit. And I've been a big Kendrick since... Kendrick fan since 2009. 
And like, bro, he his shit got announced for the Super Bowl. That's supposed to be like a monumental moment. As soon as he got announced, oh man, why they ain't pick Wayne? You yeah. know why I say the thunder away from hip hop is dead. And why I would agree with you. We as artists don't even let artists sample music we've created. If it's not respected yeah. in the community, how's yeah. it going to be respected by those that admire the community? You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm. There's a lot of things to it. I don't think hip hop was ever created to be a. Not to say. Fuck it. A controlled genre. Look at how country is regulated. Yeah, they, yeah. Gospel they told, regulated. They told nigga. Beyonce, you ain't get no, you ain't get no award from us. Yeah, you get what I'm after saying? That new video she just put out uh, the other day. Yeah, that they she they don't Bro, I, we done they seen BET give Justin Timberlake awards. Yeah, yeah. Sam, Sam Smith was in the ranking. Sam Smith won album of the year he twice. Won, yeah. won it twice. No, he won best new artist. Best you new get artists. what I'm saying? Yeah. What the fuck are we doing? So we don't gatekeep. That nigga, yeah, about to say that nigga don't even. No, no, no. We gatekeep. We gatekeep. We can't keep the niggas. Mm. That's why today yeah. mm. every artist is on Instagram, TikTok. Yeah. Them niggas know I don't need the label no more. Now that we got this kind of visibility, again, shout out to La Russell. All this shit is documented on the internet. You can buy the little uh uh all everything you need to know about music industry. All of it's written to show you how to be successful for yourself. It's just yeah. about scaling, right? Yeah. For artists today, all you got to do is have a little, a little popularity on Instagram. And then you can sell 100 units, 1,000 units, 10,000 units, 20. And now you're getting 50 people at your show to 200 people at your show to 500 to 1,000 people at your show. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's not going to be everywhere you go. So fuck them little videos to where you performing in front of 10 people. Man, keep doing all of that shit. Oh, we got a guest caller, nigga. I don't know fuck. Probably Eric. He heard, he heard Joe talking shit about hip hop. So he's like, well, I got to hear me. I hear me right fun. now. <laughs> My spidey senses are tingling. Uh, what the fuck? Stop. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. All right, so... Another shit pick side on the picking side shit. So yeah, this nigga Master P. This nigga said, salute to Kendrick Lamar for performing at the halftime show at the Super Bowl. I don't know my Roman numerals. Royal Deserve. He's uh, one of the 59. hottest uh school art. I went to Kirby Smith and Wilson. Uh hottest music artists in the world and has one of the biggest songs right now. As it is, he's just a bunch of shit, just telling calling the mayor and shit. Look, he's snitching. Like, hey man, come on. That, that hey, Master P. Well, didn't Master P say that shit? The cake been baked, what would it? Yeah, he yeah, said yeah, the, yeah, cake, yeah. the cake. No, that was Birdman. That Birdman shit. said the cake's been baked. Well, nigga, I the think, cake been baked, nigga. They already picked who it is. You can't, you can't tell no, tell on nobody. And I don't even think it's that deep to where people, you know what I'm saying, want well, Wayne to do super. It's because Wayne always, so, anytime oh, you hear a song shit. about, anytime you hear a song about Wayne, you hear about him shouting out New Orleans. They just wanted that man to perform in his city. That's all it was. It's, it's not, not that even that. Big. It is it's a, definitely that. No, no, no. For every genre, like, that's a win for everyone, everything, every time. If something, happened, if, if something <clears throat> happened in Jacksonville and there was a Jacksonville artist that had enough popularity nationally to be able to, you know what I'm saying? That's a moment whether you're here or in fucking Tokyo to be able to say, do, you know what I'm saying? But it feels hey, that's my it's... city. That's that's a nigga I went to school with. That's it's... a nigga I know. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but if it's and home, that's how it's niggas homegrown. That's how niggas feel about Lil Wayne in New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he homegrown. They my cousin fuck with Lil Wayne. Like my... everybody know. Yeah. Everybody know. So it's one of those things to where he could he could perform next year. That's like who who's who for the Wayne? Uh, all right. One last one on the Wayne. Cause <laughs> could you bring up a good point too? Cause now that I think about it, like Wayne is that one where like he literally grew up in hip hop. Mm-hmm. As far as I mean, like we grew up with him. Yeah. Right. Like, Yo mama. That's like, the little she know Wayne they and take. she knows yeah. Snoop. Like then the two rappers she know. Right. You know? Like so everybody. So it's like if he did that shit, it's like my baby done made it type yeah. shit. So 100%. I, I guarantee so, you more people not don't even know just that. songs hold on, hold on. Kendrick Lamar songs. Not even just that. I'm gonna tell I'm you what it would be. I'm a huge Kendrick Lamar guy and I would say the same thing though. Today 
we look at everybody and we say, are these industry plants? Are they this? Are they yeah. that? Right. And uh, Kendrick Lamar been groomed in the industry for longer than a lot of the niggas that we talk about as industry plants. Right. Oh, yeah. So when we like when we talk about industry plants is always funny to me because there's a lot that goes into that. But I say it to say. And I don't mean groomed in no crazy no, way. I know I'm what saying you mean. Like, they put, they put, yeah, yeah. Also, everybody no. on the West Coast put that rocket also, behind him. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. He was fucking with Diddy. He was fucking with Dre. He because was fucking at with that all time, kinds like, of Dom, niggas Dom from like 14 Nip on, years old. Dom mm-hmm. and Nip on top of the, of the West Coast at that time period. And they said, no, they throwing it on Kendrick. Kendrick right. yeah. And then they and they all, you know, they did their own thing. But they all was like, okay, that's when we're going to ride with Right, right. Because, I mean, you got to follow the train. But I say all of that to say... For Wayne, I think that niggas in our generation, especially, it would be that like it's a nostalgia moment. It's a because everyone has been able, like you said, old and young. It's people way younger than us that that love Wayne, Lil Wayne, right? Yeah. <clears throat> so everybody would be able to appreciate that. But the the age demographic that the NFL is really targeting, that's a nostalgia moment for everyone. I, I find it so funny that in the midst of all of this, Lil Wayne is like trending on every social platform they, from. Could they slander? Man? No, 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 no. <laughs> um, I'm talking about from the 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 mm. the, the, the uh, them doing the little rapping TikToks and shit. Uh, mm. The white boy was like. Um, me in seventh grade as my teacher asked if I was listening and he had his headphones in rapping canon and shit like that. I seen like ten different videos of that. You can't. It's a Wayne well, definitely got a catalog that you can't really perform in well, a family. No, 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 no. Super Bowl Wayne setting. has a catalog that you could perform anywhere in the world around. on any time of the like any day of the week. Wayne has a song for everybody that was released mainstream. So you saying you would hear if you heard I Need a Hot Girl at the Super Bowl? No, nigga, that's not one of okay. his biggest records. Yes, how is it not, nigga? You know how, how many is plays it not? That shit, that Wayne shit was, was not Wayne. Uh, with the Hot Boys, I don't think he'll perform that. He'll perform like. No, I'm just saying that'd be funny. You never he know what he'll perform. perform a Millie, uh, let the I was beat thinking build. About a six foot, seven foot. You get what I'm let saying? The was, let the beat build. He will perform some of his features. Wayne could have one of the best sets just off his features alone. If yeah. he brought some of those artists out, which would be a great look for all of them as well. You get what I'm saying? Wayne could probably have the greatest Super Bowl performance ever. So, nigga, are you against Wayne performing or are you for Wayne performing? Yeah. I mean, is it, bro? You're on know, switch sides, so spinning time. Nah, I'm on both sides. I'm just saying it to say. <laughs> but from that's a, the duality of him marketing the situation. Bro. Right. And right. from a marketing standpoint, if I had to choose personally, I would say, damn, I'm going... Uh, Kendrick, the Wayne that I, I grew up loving is not the Wayne that I see today. I understand people change and there's evolution, but I've seen Wayne on stage and not remember his lyrics. Okay. I don't think that that would happen at the Super Bowl, but I do think, hey. You only perform in 13 minutes, so you gotta, yeah. when you perform, Sorry, you gotta do a medley of songs. So right, you don't, right, right, you don't right, gotta right, right. remember a whole song. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not what saying, saying it's again, song between 08 till now. That's what he performed. Like, he could do Fireman. Like, he could, he Six foot, do seven foot. Oh, yeah, he could, he could he go. Could I know, people, I know people slaying there in a lollipop, but bro, that's a diamond. No, that was that was one of his lollipop biggest songs in the world, record. bro. Sure. Lollipop was that. an amazing record. I ain't gonna say he probably, was, he he probably, probably was. Was. I don't like lollipop, but that shit went diamond. So that you got shit is amazing. Nigga, nigga, nigga. nigga. Prince had Super Bowl, bro. Prince hadn't had an album in forever. Bro, I was going crazy. Prince was different, and Prince wasn't consistent. Prince was different though. Prince didn't even do his own songs at the halftime performance. Like he did other people's shit. That's what yeah. I'm saying. And, like, he, and he was there. So like the issue is the city just didn't want the Wayne. The hosting committee. I ain't gonna put they it on didn't the want Wayne. The hosting I don't think committee. That, I think they looked at it and said, "What would made bring? A business decision. What would bring more for the community right now? Kendrick is the hottest artist on earth right this second. Let us choose him because that train is not gonna die between now and February." I think it's going to happen in February. No, it's not. It's because not. It's that nigga is cranking up. up. It's, it's really you cranking up. Every There's rumors that he's, he's right going right to drop an album. There's rumors, but is it, unless that nigga said Until he doesn't drop an album, those rumors continue to build and grow. They've been doing the same thing for Frank Ocean. They've been doing the same <laughs> yeah. thing for fucking rumors Rihanna. Don't sell records, They've been doing the, they I were think, doing the same thing for think, Adele before her last album. I think mm-hmm. even without the Super Bowl, he was going to drop an album. He was going to be dumb if he wasn't going to drop an album with the small Rumors don't sell records, though. 
Nigga, as you I said, know, like, know, that's, that's, that's what's Romans happening now. I know don't sell records, but I, kind of, I think it's kind of obvious he's doing another album. The <laughs> engin- his engineer said he was dropping an album. He's and out. not even yeah, just yeah. that. I think that he was doing <laughs> all of that shit with Baby Keen to tell everyone, hey, I am still rapping. I'm mm-hmm. working yeah. on another like that project. Baby Keen. I do like that shit. Right, because he's experimenting, like... He's just in a different place. We we shit on him for the time he's taking, but when has Kendrick let us down when it comes to music? The music he gives us, we appreciate differently because right. there's nobody else doing it like that. All right, all right. Let me get my shit on, Joe. You've been talking a lot. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to drink this fucking idiot. <laughs> you really going to be talking, so, nigga? Nah, hold on, hold on. I'm about to roll up. So let me, let me bring this shit home because we've been talking about this shit a long ass time. Damn near an hour. All right, so this nigga... Kendrick obviously was going to work on the album because me, to be honest, I don't know how y'all niggas feel. feel that Mr. Morales, what is it? Mr. Allen and the Steppers? The Big Steppers. And the Big Steppers, that album wasn't good. Some of the one he dropped, uh, the the last one. The last album he dropped. Is it the one where we going to be all right on it? No, nigga. No, 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 See, no, that's no. how the much one I got Kodak on. Butterfly. Oh. Well, yeah, bro, that was like damn it, ten years ago. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> now, Mr. So Morales and the Big nigga. Steppers. I don't. Yeah, if you would, he didn't have yes. no big single, so if I named them, you wouldn't even know what I'm talking Thank about. You. Right, right, right. But um, it was a polarizing album. It wasn't a lot of people really didn't like that album. People going to go I back see to the that album because so. it was like his most personal. Like I was listening to some of it um earlier, and like it was most like a therapy session compared yeah, to his other shit. They got some songs talking about Monty's a man now. Yeah, that. Yeah, and yeah what, kind of how talking am I supposed to relate to that, Kendrick? I that think that's one of those <laughs> albums that you drop and. That might damn near be his 808 and Heartbreaks in a way, though. No, like, it ain't no, 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 no. No, that's not what I mean. Songs, mm, no, 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 no. No, that's not what I'm like, saying. At a lost, like, at a lost period of yeah, your like life. A, uh, and I do think yeah, that it was, it was real vulnerable. Like, he got a song on there, talk, like, admitting to cheating on his wife, yep. fucking white women. And, yep. like, whole, yeah. Drake could have just listened to that whole album and won the beef. Like, no, he, he did. literally <laughs> did. <laughs> he literally <laughs> did. He did. And that's how he lost the beef. That's how he lost the beef. Because of listening to that album. And then, a lot of people, he was buying fake information from people no no yeah he dropped the heart he dropped the heart part listen to the heart part six mm. he was talking about he, i don't know we gotta look that's gonna look we're gonna look back on that and be like heart part six was not was a miss he went on the track talking about a man i know you got molested by your uncle oh. i was like bro you didn't listen to that he said his, he said his i think he said his mom got molested by his uncle. yeah yeah and i was like bro you didn't listen to the album God damn. But yeah, the Mr. Morales they talk about that shit. They talk <laughs> about his mom crazy. getting molested. Talk about his, his aunt, aunt, um, aunt being a transgender. He's talk about a bunch of shit. His um, pops going through depression. What he said, his pops. What he said, his grandfather died, and his pops had to go to work the next day mm-hmm. because if he didn't go to work, yeah. none of the bills were paid. So his pops grieving, mm-hmm. crying. And he just got done doing a twenty hour shift at yeah. work. I wanna hear about no I wanna hear none of that shit on no he album. Got a, what, you, like what I just said about your music taste. <laughs> <laughs> no, nigga, that's, so, no, nigga, that's got, logically he got, speaking. He got, a, he got a song talking about his pops getting robbed by fucking top dog. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. it's, like, it's a really, really vulnerable album. Yeah, why the bro? fuck would I want to listen to that? Like Kendrick that, ain't that Kendrick, Kendrick, on, bro. Kendrick don't like, do many no. interviews. Kendrick is not an open book, right? Uh-huh. So this is his way of saying when you go back and listen to and when you go back and appreciate my music, here are the things that I struggled with. Here are the mm-hmm. things, here are the challenges that I face. And to be real, Mr. Morale really tells you, in my opinion, why he takes so long to make. I respect yeah. it because I respect exactly. it because it was, it was a very vulnerable album. But I'm like, sometimes I'll be like, man, I don't want to hear this shit. And I'll the never want to be a movie. The but was, that's, it was like one of them things where like, oh, he don't got a bad album, but this is his worst album. It's not bad. He don't. This is his worst album. He don't have a bad. He don't album. have a bad The problem album. is the the replayability. Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 it's hard. Hard. yeah. Like it's what, hard, but t- it's such hard to tell get me through. What, what mood you got to be in to put on that album? When it's raining outside ask, and you fucking you, sad. I can answer like, your question, but you don't like his music, so you wouldn't. I didn't say I didn't like his nobody music. Make, nobody I said make, I, didn't, I didn't listen to all, nobody his, like, makes all music, his music. Nobody like makes music like Kendrick, so I can't explain it to you. I'm going to say yeah. this. You, you're, you're like not even being ignorant, right? I think it's, it's, it's times in life to where you don't know how to deal with things, right? And music helps us to get through it. I, even I, if I can see that. Even I, if it's that. just. Man, something soothing, right? Yeah. But in those times to where it might be somebody that comes to you and says, "Damn, I experienced this," right? Yeah. And and relatability. 
And in my life, it's never like you go and search that record, but as you're playing through shuffle and shit like that, the mm. song just so happens to play, and then you hear it, and it's like, damn, now I got a new perspective to it. I think it's one of those albums to where Kendrick is legit saying, I'm sacrificing for the sake of artistry. Yeah. In the sense, I can see it from that aspect. I'm leaving a real legacy of who Kendrick Lamar. Man, Kendrick been telling us who he is since the beginning of his career, right? I mean, mm. to a T. Mm. And there's never been an artist as open, honest, and vulnerable on record mm. as he is. We'll never hear another artist talk about his mother being molested by his uncle and him having to live and deal with mm. it and the trauma that caused his mother to to overprotect him. You get what I'm I've saying? I've heard Thug say some crazy shit too. No. You have to different. You, you yeah, yeah, listen yeah. to Punk shit is so different. You never listen to Punk, man. That nigga can't exactly. He's never listened to Apple Punk. Hey, my, my he never listened to it. No, but I wasn't. He did. No, say that's that not. He did that's say the, that, that's the but he also the line of the album. that nigga said, bro. He also said about how his mom, uh, his mom was uh, cheating on the shit, uh, cheating on the sheriff with him and something. He came back and shot her or some shit like that. Like shot his sister. Some shit like that. I don't this. think that happened for real. I think he was rapping. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm gonna I be honest. Know, bro. I wouldn't Based know. on Thug's <laughs> artistry, and I'm not saying that. There's about, not true. Dropping gems? Yeah, dropping gems. Drop gems. Yeah, listen, dropping gems. Obviously, I'm Joe not, haven't heard the song yet. Yeah, nah. Was I see. That, oh, I'm was not that saying that, that was on pump because he did it. He did the. I remember uh, he performed it, but I don't think it was on pump. No, nah, it's definitely it on, pump. on pump. Yeah, because oh. he uh he he did uh, most he did two I songs on pump. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't like. Punk. Watch his tiny disc. First watch his tiny disc. Calling yourself a punk. That's crazy. Yeah, I think I think he meant like punk. <laughs> like the, the it's the genre like punk nah, rock bro punk. he was yeah. wearing pink and everything that like he was bad. painting his nails and doing all kind of crazy <laughs> 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 like, when, when, when pop got an O on it he was acting like he was selling pussy yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay we haven't used that word in a while Jesus Christ oh god yeah that's what he got sticky stack stick stack that nigga crazy I never heard that term, and well, I don't want to hear it no that more. That nigga was acting like he was playing pickup sticks. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm wrap this up with this man. This nigga I Bird. Mean, he was playing this nigga Bird, sticks. man. Bro, he put that shit on Miss Gladys. Yeah, I don't know what y'all. Was... Not on Miss Gladys. He said, yeah. he "Oh my god, he, he said, did." Yeah. Yeah. Pussy. Yeah. yeah. He talking about Jay Z, but we have not brought up Jay Z yet. Yeah, he the puppet master behind that shit. Yeah, he in charge of the Super Bowl performances. Yeah, he the producer dude. Okay. That's the whole thing when I said the pick side shit. No, well, Wayne, you know he did. He did. Wayne kind of stepped on his toe. You know, you know, you know what it was. Shit on Wayne. You know what it was. Yeah, that that Wayne verse uh beat without bass. Uh, what's a beat without bass? He was like, I'm 24. You 44. I'm, I'm working. <laughs> come home when I'm 44. Yeah. Yeah. Remember I'm that working shit. with him 44. Like, <laughs> come home when I'm 44. Uh, uh-uh, take that oh, nigga yeah. off the fucking I'll list. I say some shit. Fuck whatever. Like, oh yeah, this nigga Jay Z paid Wayne taxes. Bro, that, he did that what? so long ago, bro. That, yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. It don't take it takes three seconds to backstab a nigga. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga bring it up shit from like a thousand years ago. I honestly surprised they ain't tell Nikki to do it. I what? Was I mean, out, I'm, 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 Nikki, Nikki was crashing Nikki out. Was crashing Nikki out. Nikki is no dating a, uh, a, oh. a pedophile. And Jay Z got his own you shit going see Nikki on. Nikki Who knows, man? Nah. Oh, yeah, yeah she, she, she was crashing crazy, out. Crazy, crazy, man. She said, but this she is, said one nigga took a knee, the other nigga took the bag. He going to get you niggers in line every fucking time. She's talking about Jay Z and Kendrick. She said that nigga Kendrick tap dancing. Um, hey, that's, that's what he did shoot that ball in the commercial. Get you niggas every, every, in line every She said some more shit too. Uh, but this but is see, before. This is uh, everybody she knew it was the city shit. that chose though. Here's she the said, thing. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here's the thing about her saying that. How can she say Nick, Kendrick? Read, read that, Joe. Read that. Yeah, this you is the that? one. This Denying one. a young black man oh, what he yeah. rightfully put into this game for no other reason but your ego, your hatred for Drake and Nicki got you punishing Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne, the goat. Nola, what's good? Eminem stood firm on having Fifty Cent come out a white. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, I, uh, I forgot to add them. Uh, oh, I it's forgot. Probably like a white man. I, forget, I forgot that happened. They didn't want Fifty Cent performing that Drake shit. Eminem had to like. 
Oh, oh really? Yeah, they use his white privilege. Yeah, they use white privilege card. Hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> said, they said it, she said a young black man is Kenny Lamar Porky Geese. I saw that. I saw that too. I, I stopped reading after the young black man. Young black I stopped black man. reading after yeah, the young black man. And I hate, man. I hate when people try and use that. Try to tell, try, uh, try to tell y'all, but wanted brunch. Yeah, I wanted to talk about the Rock Nation brunch. Uh-oh. She said, "I tried to tell y'all, but y'all wanted brunch." She said, she "I'm said, on a fucking roll. Wait, hacked, hacked." Man, Nikki Green. I'm she, gonna be honest. She she, hit, she probably she, she hit that coke pack. Yeah, boy, I was gonna say yeah, she, she hit a mountain of coke. Still beat though. That was funny. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny though. She said y'all wanted brunch. She said y'all tap dancing for that. Brunch. I don't even think they do the rock and <laughs> brunch no more. Uh, I don't know. Not I after they seen so. bro, them big ass Roblox. Yeah, that's 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 what did it. <laughs> that's what they did. say we can't do this no more. <laughs> niggas gonna dress like they drunk. <laughs> yeah, bro. I didn't even, I didn't even know Nikki was. I didn't even know Nikki was uh, beefing with like Beyonce and Jay and all that shit. I, I didn't know, know neither. I mean, yeah, th- what? What, I mean, what? like, like a, I, it's not a common Nikki thing. And Have I been something? going at it for like who's number one of like, like Nikki want to be top dog of everything. Oh, that's I fair. don't think that's first, right. of, first of all. Beyonce don't rap. Mm. Nikki won't talk. Sometimes album. Beyonce don't rap. Well, let's be, Sometimes let's yeah, them rap be ass. So, boy. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Jay Z need to quit writing that shit. Future wrote uh, "Drunk in Love." You are ignorant. First of he all, wrote, he wrote, but she wasn't rapping on that shit. Was yes, she? she was. That surfboard shit. That surfboard uh, line. She was rapping on that shit. Common, that was a bad shit. I ain't gonna hold it. The common denominator is Beyonce love love Megan the Stallion. Mm. Nikki probably don't like that shit. Mm. Mm. Yeah. 